So I uploaded a video yesterday talking about Abandonware games and where you can find them on these archive sites like My Abandonware and Magipack, hosting large libraries of classic games you can play for free. And a few people asked me if I could do a quick guide on how to set these games up. Especially on the Steam Deck because there's a few more steps involved. You can't just install them and launch them like you would on Windows. But once you get into the rhythm of it, it's pretty easy. It's actually the same steps you would take when installing games from GOG. So I thought I'd make this video not only to get you comfortable with setting up and playing the many amazing Abandonware titles, but also to promote GOG because I think it's an amazing service where you actually get to own the games you buy. Which I don't think anybody's against that. As much as I love Steam, it's still the best overall. It comes with the caveat that when you purchase a game on Steam, you don't own those games. You only own the license to play those games. So enough wasting time. Let's get straight into it. The first thing we're going to do is open up our internet browser, go to good old games, pick one of our games that we purchased from there, and for me it's going to be Fear. We can install it through the Galaxy Launcher, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to download offline backup game installers. This is going to give us the raw files to work with. Like I said, you follow these same exact steps, they're the same exact steps for the Abandonware video. And you can play games like Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay, or GTA San Andreas with all of its content restored, even the uncensored hot coffee. Additionally, you can go to the Discover Store and install the Heroic Game Launcher that'll let you run Galaxy through Steam OS. I like the option of having my games neatly organized, but I'd rather play my games directly through the game folder, as God intended. So while we're waiting for the download, let's just make a folder and call it Fear. Let's go ahead and speed things up for the sake of time. Go into your downloads, grab your files, throw them in the folder you made. Also too, you'll see I have this Wine Program Launcher. You can find that here in the Discover Store. You might have to scroll down a bit to find it. Go ahead and install that. What it's going to do is let you open Windows files outside of Steam OS, so you don't have to add the installer to Steam and then do a bunch of extra work. Y you don't need to. Press OK. Go to Options. We're not going to use this path. We're actually going to install it directly in the folder we made. Press OK. Install. We'll go ahead and speed this up too. All right, exit, go into our folder. You'll see we have a lot of files here. Let's go ahead and launch this config right here, just in case there's anything we can set up for the Steam Deck. And yes, we can. Let's change this to 1280 by 800. All right, nothing here. Go ahead and save. Now let's add fear to Steam. Also too, I'm assuming you're gonna want some artwork for your games instead of a flat gray grid. So if you haven't yet, let's go ahead and download Decky Loader. You can find it directly on this website. I already have this installed, but it's just a one-click installation. You just have to put in your pseudo password. If you don't have one, it'll be Decky. All right, let's go ahead and go into gaming mode now. So Decky Loader is gonna let you put custom artwork on your games. You see right here I have Steam Grid DB. You can just click on this store icon, search grid, and it's right here, Steam Grid DB. I'm gonna go ahead and update mine. Now we can go to Fear, go to Properties, right here in the shortcut, we'll get rid of .exe, make sure we put dots in between the letters so it can scrape the correct art. And as you can see, if we go back in the settings, we now have an option to change artwork. We can change the capsule, the wide capsule, the hero, the logo. It just makes everything look more official. All right, let's try Proton Experimental. Nope. Let's try a regular launch. Nope. Let's try nine. No, that didn't work either. Let's try Proton 8. Keep in mind that you do own these games. I promise you they work. It's just the price you have to pay for ownership. And there you go. Proton 8 launches Fear. And just to prove that we own the games we buy from GOG, I made a copy of Blood that I bought from there. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to a USB drive. 
then take that copy and put it on my desktop and show you that I can straight up make as many copies of this game and play them on whatever device I want. If it means I own the game, well, I'm happy to deal with the small headache of setting up these games, knowing that they will never be taken from me. And there you go. If you watched my Abandonware video, you can use those same exact steps to play those games. Just remember, if you're using Magipack, it uses magnet links. So you want to go into the Discover store and install a plugin called Qubit Torrent that's going to let you use those magnet links. But anyways, I, I hope this was really helpful. I, I don't want to see you guys miss out on some awesome games. All right, talk to me in the comments. Boy. Give me a number nine just like he is. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap.